you'll be using all of your precision skills to create a photorealistic tattoo. Photorealism is probably the toughest thing to do in tattooing. You just have to look at a picture and duplicate it on the skin. The reason why I'm getting this tattoo is because my father was an inspiration in my life. Sure. He was a fireman and I'm a fireman. So I figured there'd be nothing better than to get a helmet, his old school helmet, but maybe some kind of flames coming under okay. it. I'm gonna need to take some photos of it. Photorealism is obviously exactly how it sounds. You're taking a photograph and you're reproducing it. So you have to begin with a really good photo. That's the most important part of the tattoo. Now have a lot of pictures to go through in a minute. <laughs> the competition is stiff and I wanna win it. My client today wants to do a tattoo revealing the inner workings of the body beneath the arm and the collarbone. You want to do some like photo reel like sutures? No, no. This is all the things you could put in there. You could put the bones, the veins, tendons, ligaments. Mm -hmm. He's not really flexible. He definitely doesn't want to allow me to approach this in the most realistic fashion. The only thing I'm concerned about is the skin. If it's just an incision, it's not going to give us photoreal bloody stuff. I don't want it dripping blood like it's from the movie from Hellraiser. I am a little stressed right now. I'm getting these clients that aren't the easiest to work with. I could be in for a storm. There is a possibility that they could send me home on this. The competition is getting tougher. The pressure is on, so everybody wants to glad their best job, and I want to win this. I love it. It's great. Oh, yeah, dude. OK. Actually, it looks really awesome, but I'm afraid it's coming into this se okay. section too far. Yeah, you far. can shrink it. My strategy right now is to stay focused. This competition is $100,000, and I want to win it. So I'm not just going to slap a stencil on someone and go with it. Can you see your chest? Right there. You stand natural. There aren't too many shots that really show what he wants without all the blood and gore. It's been tough piecing them together, but I have a really good plan. This is what people come to me for. I specialize in photorealism. And even when I'm doing stuff that's completely made up and, you know, from my own head or from the client's head, I apply a realistic touch to it. All right, you can sit down. My client, he's giving me a list of fruits and veggies that he wants. You can do so many things with fruit and food as far as making it look real. It's going to be a little bit more of an advantage for me. I'm actually really struggling with this tattoo. The flames on Scott are just not popping, and I'm trying different things to make them stand out. I'm putting a lot darker shading than I would normally. His tattoo ended up being a little more traditional and a little less photoreal. I think that although it's not a realistic subject, I nailed it when it came to getting it accurate and realistic looking. This week, we tested your technical precision skills. Now it's time to see how you did with photorealistic tattoos. Josh, you're up first. How you feel about this? I like it. He was a great client. Gave me a lot of artistic freedom. It was fun. My complaint is this tattoo looks more like a pop art painting, artistically illustrated, other than photorealistic. Proportionally, I think that the avocado seed looks really large in proportion to the rest of the piece. That strawberry is about the size of that avocado. That blueberry is enormous. They're not really proportioned with one another. In order to put good detail in it, I wanted to make each fruit larger so that I could make it more realistic. That's not necessarily realistic. This is absolutely unbelievable. The detail on the face, the shading, everything captures the personality of this animal. You have that really cool other back paw that comes out to the side, and that really gives this leopard a turning flow. All in all, you executed a really beautiful tattoo today, the best one of this competition for you by far. Welcome back. Thank you. Heather. How are you feeling about this piece? I realized today I don't really do a whole lot of photorealism. You know, I kind of do more anime, animation kind of tattoos. You had the advantage of positioning this 
and photographing it with the angle and the light that you wanted. Well, I wouldn't say the angle I wanted or the light I wanted. You know what we're going for here. I gotta tell you, I don't really know what's more sore, his skin or my eyes. The numbers in the letter forms look very janky and don't look very clean. Well, they were supposed to be like that because they're burned up. It's rough, the shading in this is rough. There's no like gradual anything. Billy. Does it feel like an illustration? Yes. I think the arteries or the veins look a little bit like tendrils, almost like fantastic, which kind of makes me feel that it's, it has more of like a horror sci-fi kind of vibe. He wanted to avoid doing torn skin. He wanted to avoid stitches. He wanted to avoid anything that I could use to make it that much more realistic. I'm not really blown away by it. Really, have you achieved the goal of the challenge and make something that's photorealistic? No, I don't really believe so. I tried to accommodate him as much as I could in a way that I thought, you know, I could give this guy a good tattoo. I just don't think this tattoo falls into the category of photorealism. Let me start with you, Leah. Congratulations. The judges feel that tonight you had the best tattoo. Well done. You really captured the aspect of the photo and for this challenge, you did exactly what was asked of you. Thank you. The judges have decided. Heather, you do not have what it takes to become Ink Master. Please pack up your machines and leave. Bye. Today, you must tattoo an animal. Oh, yes. I've been waiting for this challenge. This is the imagery that I love. This is the imagery that I do. I know I'm gonna kill it. For an animal to come to life and pop off the skin, faces, noses, eyes, and mouths must have depth and dimension. It's important to show dimension in animal tattoos because you wanna make that tattoo look like it's alive. You wanna make it look like it's gonna reach out and touch you. I can't lose to Julia. I'm a 20 year vet. Julia's only been in the game for five years. If I go home before Julia, that's gonna be some real bull Today you had to use dimension to bring animals to life. Mark, I debated whether or not this thing was wrapped up in bacon. It didn't read as elephant skin. I just really tried to go balls to the wall with the texture on that. It looks like you maybe overdid your texture. Things are getting lost there, and it just seems to be lacking in dimension. You're one of those guys that's in here right now that's fighting. Every choice you make at this point is a choice for you to stay or to go, and you gotta make the right choices. Brian. Difficult to be positive on this one. It just sits really flat. It's not very good color saturation. The line work is wonky. The poor horse's face, what were you doing there? Did the best I could, man. If this is the best you got, I'm gonna have to wish you the best of luck. Emily. It just really looks unfinished. This is light beams shooting through a jungle. It's a little crazy. You didn't give us anything in this to look at on a technical level. Everything is painterly and sketchy, and this does not look like you want to be around. This is not the last of me, I promise you that. This tattooing is some of the worst in the building today. I'm not going home. You'd have to drag me out of here with a pack of wild horses. If you do end up staying, you're going to have to learn how to do better than this. Ryan, Emily, Mark, any one of you could justifiably be eliminated. Ryan. You're here because the human canvas jury determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. This really went bad. It just doesn't make a lot of sense. And then the color palette you chose in this lady's complexion is way off. I need to stop thinking competition and start walking in like I'm just at my shop. I do better than this. You know, I know I do better than this. It's just I need to pull my head out of my ass. Mark. If you could redo this tattoo and just do it lighter, ease up on so much craziness that you put into it, you wouldn't be down here. I still don't think I have the worst tattoo of the day. I'm here to compete. I want to go back upstairs, I want to kick some ass. To leave now without ever showing something amazing, you really crush me. You're down here a lot, and it's getting harder and harder to justify you in this competition. Emily. You started off hot as you worked in the mouth of this gorilla, and then it lost steam. 
There's no excuse for me to be putting out work like that, except for the fact that I've let this competition get up in my head. I'm here to compete, and I want to show you guys, and I want to show the world that I'm completely capable of this. This is what you've given us, and if you mean what you say, prove it. The judges have decided. Ryan, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. With your tattoo, the lack of dimension, yours was just laid the flattest of everybody's. Today, it's the way it goes, man. Please pack your machines and close shop. Thanks, guys. Your coaches have put you up for elimination. You have one final chance to save yourself. Tomorrow, the two of you must face off in a six-hour tattoo. And based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Anthony, since your team won the elimination tattoo, you now have the power to assign the style and subject for the face-off. What style and subject must they tattoo? Wow. Black and gray, realistic tiger heads. Make these things exactly what he asked for. Make them real. This is going to be a comparative style. And we'll see who's got what to come out swinging with. You guys should be pretty even. This should be a pretty good match. And I think we're going to get two great tattoos. Ready? Now we go. Yes. Gary versus Josh, if there's a fist fight to be had, these guys are the ones to do it. Dig it? Yeah. A realistic tiger can be very tricky because somebody has to know how to emulate different values of fur for the different values of stripes and colors in the tiger. You can give me that face done in two hours? I hope so. You have to be able to hit the textures of the mouth, precise with the whiskers, shiny with the eyes. This whiskers right here is just a hair higher than the picture. I might just fade that off anyway. All around, there's a lot to a realistic tiger. All right, lady, you ready? Yep. Yeah. At first, I thought Josh was going to win. But he caught one of the pupils too far over. Like, one eye looks like it's looking this way. You saw that, too? Really? Yeah. Who's it? You seen that? Listen, you kind of can't fix it now. It's going to be close. Oh, yeah, Gary. It's gonna be a hell of a thing for the judges. Dude, I was over there being like, ah, I can take it easy a little bit in the middle of the day, and then I'm like, ah, and then all of a sudden everybody starts being like, dude, it's coming together, so I'm over here stressed the out. It looks awesome. I've taken a lot of hate, a lot of people thinking that I don't deserve to be in the finale. I have to shut them all up, and I have to prove what I can do. See how you got a lot of skin in your lines? This changed the tone from skin. The first two, three years of my career tattooing, I was homeless. I literally lived in my car for a period of time. Struggling through everything I've gone through will all be kind of justified if I can make it to that final stage and if I can come out of this thing victorious. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. She's like, thank <laughs> God. Dude, that's a badass piece, man. Thanks, man. Pretty stoked? Yeah. Worth the pain? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. It's beautiful. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. You're very welcome. It's gorgeous. Today, you faced off for your survival in this competition. Josh and Gary, based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Let's start with Josh. You do a beautiful tattoo here. You definitely captured the look of the tiger. I really like what you did on the hair coming out of the ears. And you really gave a strong swing at lining up all these whiskers and the backdrop of the fur against the whiskers. For me, the biggest letdown is going to be the eyes. Yeah, the one eye, she got to where she was moving, and I couldn't get her to sit still. And I think I just jogged it a little, and I had to overcorrect. Obviously, I'm looking at it, and the focal point for me, that went. Yeah. You really hit the wetness of the bottom lip. The top teeth get a little bit away from you. Like the one tooth, it's a little more standing on its own. Yours is a little different than the reference. In the stripes underneath the face, all that fur and all the little lines you put in each stripe to really show the direction of the fur is amazing. I really just shot for something that literally looked like it could leap right off his skin. It is a beautiful tattoo, man. Thank you. Gary. I love the pose you chose. I love the image you chose. I particularly love the look you got in the tiger's eyes. Those eyes look beautiful and wet. Really great little attention to detail. Where I think you have challenges, your whiskers make new shapes. 
they look more electrifying. It doesn't have that slow, flowing, long, wispy feel to it. It's a little spider webby towards the edges. And one thing that would help this tattoo out a lot is if the top of the head was the top of the tattoo. Where you put the arch of the back, it rounds this whole thing off to a big ball shape. Same with underneath the cheek right here. If you would have left a little bit of breathability, that shape of that chin would have looked really strong. But you show us a really nice black and gray tattoo, solid black. Thank you very much. It is now time to determine who is going home. You guys did not make this an easy decision. The challenge was consistency. Gary's looks like someone totally different did those whiskers than the forehead. So to me, that's inconsistency. At least both eyes are consistent. What's up with that wonky eye? That's all you guys come back to. But speaking as a non-tattooer, the first thing you look at is the eyes. And those eyes are jacked. His ears are the wrong shape, and they're wobbly. The whole face is twisted on an angle. There's lots of inconsistencies in yours, too. What's up with that eye? What other problems? OK, take his whiskers out, take my eyes out. He missed the whole mane, and his ears are wrong. Bro, you missed the whole face. Gary's whiskers take up a fourth of his tattoo. Josh's is one little eye. I have a hard time getting past the whiskers against that white fur. I don't know what the f I'm looking at. My vote's for Gary. These are two well-executed tattoos. Gary's does get a little more hard to read in the bottom half of the tattoo. I got to vote for Gary. My vote's also for Gary. The judges have decided, Gary, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. I really respect your talent in this business. Thanks for being here, man. Please pack your machines and close shop. Thanks, guys. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Gary. Each of you must face off in a six-hour head-to-head tattoo with another artist. Chris and TJ will be facing off in a grudge match. Clean, you get to determine the style and subject that they must tattoo. Photo realistic, full color, full body, copperhead snakes. The grudge matches are set. One of my friends showed me how to do this. Kind of I just don't like doing it because it's so tedious. And I like being simple. It is tedious. Chris is going for it. Make sure you're super on point because I think he's full of I know. All that full was exactly that. Just full I don't know why he did that, but that pisses me off. Chris is one of the biggest threats in this competition. He can do anything. You want to push yourself out of the team, do this lone wolf. A lone wolf doesn't last long in the wild. Eventually, somebody's going to get your ass. How you doing? Trying. I heard it looks good. Just trying to not look like a complete asshole. Nah, I think you know how to handle your business. Uh, a little bit of a confession to make. Maybe I got a little overly dramatic with doing the snake. Can I do photorealism? No, I can't. But I can sort of do color realism. I might have left that part out with my team. Yeah, it's teams, but I still have to go against everybody on my team. I can't trust them. Two weeks before I got here, I got kicked out of the shop that I've been at for eight years. I lost everything. Now I have to try to rebuild everything that I used to have. So I can't lose. Today, all of you had to face off in your own grudge match. Let's see how you did. TJ and Chris. Let's start with TJ. The head and all those details you have in there is pretty amazing. The colors are pretty close. The white's in the exact same places as in the reference. The little bits around the mouth, it's pretty identical. It just kind of falls flat at the top. I was just going for more focus to out of focus. Trying to rack every scale in that thing in six hours is ridiculous. I mean, Clean really screwed you guys in six hours. He knew that was gonna be a challenge. Well played, sir. I do personally feel this tattoo has an unfinished look to it. If it's gonna be out of focus, it needs to look a little more out of focus than to just look unfinished like this. But man, the front half of this tattoo is stellar. Let's get into Chris. Overall, you have a much more finished look throughout. You highlight certain areas of scales and details that lead you to see the snake as being detailed, when actually there's a lot of areas to the snake where you leave details out. But it's an illustrational design to give a realistic look. As far as the capture and the look of the snake, I like it. 
All right, guys, we have to determine a winner here of this head-to-head. -head. I am very torn here because I love the HD section of TJ's that shows every little detail in the reference. But overall, Chris's tattoo looks complete within itself. Looking at photorealism challenge, for me, I'm leaning to TJ. I was leaning more towards Chris just because it did have an overall more finished feel, but I don't think that in any part of Chris's tattoo does he actually portray the real shapes that are there. TJ does show photorealism, without a doubt. My vote's for TJ. My vote's for TJ. Congratulations, TJ. You are safe from elimination. Thank you. And Chris, that means that you're up for elimination. Thank you. Today, you must tattoo a portrait of an animal. Oh. <laughs> I'm not a portrait guy. Animal portraits require a lot of texture, a lot of tips, a lot of tricks, a lot of bells and whistles to make it look like the fur was on purpose. If you don't have the constant experience under your belt to do a portrait, it's never gonna look good. I don't care how good of a tattooer you are. What do you think? Don't zoom in. If you're tattooing it this big, mm -hmm. you should be looking at a picture this big because you're gonna zoom in to the point where, where you're spending way too much time and you're gonna overcomplicate it. When you're looking at it, look at it the size you're tattooing it. It's gonna go faster, it's gonna actually look better and be more accurate. I'm a realism guy, it's what I specialize in, but I'm super worried about my team. Amanda and Tim haven't done this a lot. What's up, Clean Rock One? It's coming to see the legend over here. Oh yeah? Historically, in this competition, the day that people will get to do the they wanna do, they normally go home. I'm about to rewrite the books today, though. Watching the icon in action. Hey, both of y'all right now. <laughs> I'm trying to show that nobody in this house can do what I do. Because I'm TJ mother fool, goddammit. I'm an artist at the core of everything that I am. I've always been creating my own work since I was an apprentice. I'm not copying a photograph. I'm super nervous about this tattoo because it's realism, and you just have to be more concerned with being exact than just creating. Looks great, but are you feeling on time? All right, a little pressed, but... Because you've got to make that match that quality now? Yeah. I think I'd simplify the hell out of the face. Cool. This thing is taking forever, and I have the smallest tattoo. Tim better get done, or he's in big trouble. He's so slow. It was painful watching a goddamn stencil. He, he peels them off just as slow as he tattoos? Yeah. <laughs> Today, you had to be precise and tattoo an animal portrait. Team Christian, you're up first. Tim. It's gone. Smallest tattoo of the day, but man, you hit it right on the head. That dark black fur texture like that is really hard to pull off. You've got a lot of different tones in this tattoo. Solid black, a little bit lighter, all the way down to your softest grays. The details are amazing. Precision was key in this. You show a side of you that's probably really scary for the back line. This is what we're looking for here, someone who can do everything. Appreciate it, guys. <laughs> TJ. This gorilla has kind of an innocent, soulful look to it, and I really do think you captured that look. This tattoo definitely shows a lot of hyper detail, precision in the face. Every wrinkle is so magnified. I like the choices that you made here to leave this nose really stark light and not overshade it so that it illuminates the face a lot because it really brings a lot more light to a very dark subject. It's strong, it's very legible to what it is. Definitely my favorite tattoo I've seen you do. I appreciate it. All right, guys, time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. For me, a runaway train is TJ. The pits of the nose, the pits of the eyes, the wrinkles, you can touch and feel that tattoo. TJ does a great job, no doubt, but I am personally leaning towards Tim. Both these guys really killed it. Tim really makes some smart choices on how to do that dark fur. I mean, he went above me on. My decision is Tim. What? TJ. I'm going with Tim. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Tim. I'm very shocked. Like, Would you like to explain to us why we're wrong? No. <laughs>